Hi, this is Michael, and there are so many things up with Sumo this week that I'm gonna have to do the Zay Frank style, so let's go. Okay, first thing I wanna tell you about, on Monday we had a Sumo meeting. There's a video of it, you should watch it. It's really long though, but there's lots of good stuff in there. Uh, Ebi did a presentation about Kilimanjaro and what that means for Sumo. You should watch that. What else did we talk about? Um, oh yeah, Madalena and Rosanna, they went to the Moz Camp in Buenos Aires and they put together a report. I'll link it here with the post. Um, you can read all about it. They talk about it in the video. Um, they had fun also while they were there. Here's Madalena playing uh, football and Rosanna singing ABBA or something, I don't know. Also while they were there, they worked with Ricky from Sumo Dev. They put together this demo called the Sumo Cape Butler. Cape Butler. like. If you answer questions and stuff and help out on Sumo, you're a superhero and you need a cape, this is your butler for your cape who will bring you your cape once a week, twice a month, whatever. It'll give you a reminder, hey, it's time to go help on Sumo. So you put your email address in here and it'll send you a reminder. Pretty cool. Um, what else? Oh, more presentations in that video that you should watch. Tyler did some analysis of questions uh, and answers in the Sumo forum and found some things like, for instance, um, when people give just a kind of generic answer like try safe mode, which is a common uh, troubleshooting step to see if the problem still happens in safe mode. But if you just say, you know, try safe mode with link to instructions about safe mode, um, not very many people, uh, the original poster doesn't often follow up or, you know, they don't it seems like feel confident in you know what they should do. What generally helps is if you're more specific to the person's problem like okay so let's see this is your problem if we can you know try safe mode let me know if the problem goes away or you still have the problem then I can you know pinpoint a solution for you. Something like that seems to work a lot better. Um, there's more about it. He wrote a blog post you can read here. Um, speaking about uh, answering questions in the forum, uh, tomorrow or today, depending on when you're seeing this video, is uh, Sumo Day. So, you know, come answer questions in the support forum. We are, I don't, I, as in we, you know, not me, other people are um, uh, working on, we're automatically updating people from versions of 3.6 to Firefox 12. Um, and, you know, there might be people like, whoa. Firefox is all different, and they're asking questions in the forum, um, plus other stuff. So come ask, uh, answer questions in the forum. <sighs> what else? Oh, um, SatDev wants me to remind everybody that also tomorrow, uh, he's having an, uh, having an IRC meeting for contributors. Uh, this is the thread about it. It's at 6 p.m. UK time. I guess that's GMT. Um, and here's the stuff with a link for the agenda. Check that out. And, um, oh yeah, one more thing I wanna tell you about, hold on. Okay, let me show you the coolest new thing in Firefox. This is in Firefox beta, which you can download today. Um, it is the reset Firefox feature. This is something that the support team has wanted uh, to see for like forever. Um, so let's say Firefox, you know, after a while, it gets um, slow, maybe it crashes. You know, after a long time, you've had it installed on your system, who knows what's going on. You've got oh, some extra two or three, four extra toolbars that showed up, you don't know how, and all of a sudden your search is, you know, something else and you can't get your home page. what happened to that, who knows, right? Um, now, we have lots of troubleshooting um, steps that you can go through, narrow down these problems and try to figure it out. Or you can do this, check this out. Okay, we come up here and we go to help and go to troubleshooting information. And there's this button right here. It's called Reset Firefox. What this does behind the scenes, it's gonna make a new profile. And it's gonna copy over your bookmarks, cookies, passwords, um, and your um, like form autofill information. Boom, everything else set to the defaults. Check it out. You just click Re Reset Firefox. You say, yep, 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 I do want to reset Firefox. And then, brrrr, done. And Firefox will open, brand new. It's a brand new copy of Firefox. 
Just like you just installed it for the first time ever on your computer, it's super fast and snappy. And, but look, all your bookmarks still there. Oh yeah, that's right, let me go to Twitter. It's all there, your awesome bar will work, all that stuff. How cool is that? Fixes like a zillion problems, even if you don't have a problem. I bet you Firefox will be faster if you do that. You should try it out. Um, that's it. I will talk to you next week.